What's up, everybody? This is A Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing psychopath indicators in the natal birth chart, okay? So, everybody, just take a look to see if you have some of these things in your chart. If you know somebody that has um, some of these placements, aspects, and things of that nature. First and foremost, I want to go over um, psychopathic traits, okay, just in general, so we can know that what we're specifically talking about today. So, psychopathic traits will indicate no remorse, no empathy, constantly blaming others for their misfortune, over-the-top emotional reactions, blowing hot and cold, constantly lying, crying wolf, abnormally high or low sex drive, thinking the world owes you something, always playing the victim, being manipulative and using manipulative tactics, okay, or techniques, being a pretender, a fronter, a fake-ass person, a phony-ass person, remembering small details from the past, and then use it against someone after to get their own way. Short attention span. A con artist. A trickster. Easily becoming bored. Feeding on emotional drama. Okay, so these are some um, indicators when we're talking about just the psychopaths. Okay, um, psychopaths are incredibly clever and are master tricksters and master manipulators. So I'm just going to name a few. Moon, aspected to Pluto, is on the top of the list. It's on the top of the charts. Mercury, in aspect to Iris, Eris, and that is E-R-I-S. A unaspected sun. Okay, when I say unaspected sun, I mean if you have a sun in your chart and it does not have any aspects hitting it. Okay, it does, it's no aspect from Mars, it's no aspect from Pluto um, in a positive or negative at all. Okay, moon in aspect to Eris, E R I S, moon in aspect to Uranus, sun in aspect to Pluto. Sun in aspect to Uranus. Sun being aspected to Ceres, okay? And now with the sun aspected to Ceres, this is going to be mainly with the squares, um, the moon in Eris, the moon in Uranus, the sun, Pluto, and the sun being aspected to Uranus. This would also include the trines, okay? Um, and also the squares and things of that nature, okay? Also... Venus being hardly aspected to Saturn. Venus conjunct Saturn, Venus squared, Saturn, Venus opposite Saturn. Okay, this can definitely point to um, psychopathic um, traits. Ceres, an aspect to Saturn. Ceres, an aspect to Neptune. Venus conjunct Mars. Sun opposite Saturn. Moon opposite Saturn. Okay, when it comes to um, some serial killers, okay, and people that are serial killers and psychopaths, the top signs of the zodiac, okay, and I'm specifically going off of the sun sign on this portion here, okay, the first one we're going to touch on is the sign cancer, cancer sign. This sign is considered to be the most dangerous of all the zodiac signs. A lot of times, I do mention in my videos that people tend to think that people that are cancers are weak or they cry a lot or they're overly emotional. Um, yes, these people are emotional, okay? But you do know that emotions can be very hard to tame. And these people try their hardest to do that, okay? But if you repress your emotions, you hold things inside, you're going to end up popping, okay? Popping on a motherfucker, the period. Okay, so these people have... An emotionally entangled, twisted, and extremely dark side that surfaces only when they let it come out. 
they are so frustrated at times that they can visualize a ugly conclusion. But on the surface, you will see the sweetest face ever. Okay, so these people can appear one way. Okay, um, hold a lot of anger, frustration inside. And over a course of period, these people do explode. Um, they get frustrated periodically. I'm a cancer just in general, just to let everybody know if anybody's wondering, what is for the nature's sun sign? I'm a cancer. Okay, so definitely, um, I'm not as emotional as um, a lot of um, cancers, so to speak. But I do have a lot of um, other things in my chart that makes me a little bit more closed off and detached, okay? And this is also what can happen with somebody else, but just moving along. Still on the um, cancer sign. If they kill, it could be out of jealousy or even envy, okay? This would be the reason why these people could off somebody, um, take somebody out of this universe, out of this world, okay? And it could be off of jealousy or envy, okay? Number two, Scorpio. So these people have a dark aura, and nature about them. They are brave, highly powerful individuals. They do have a cat-like when it comes to control and manipulation. If they kill, you may view them as a Satanist or demonic, okay? So, yes, these people, if they decide to kill somebody, they can um, be the type of people that seem like they're up to more devilish, devious things, um, possessed, demonic, um, just going all out of the box, okay, if they go there. Sagittarius is number three. And we have five on the list. So Sagittarius is going to be um number three. Okay, so now they can be killers and also thieves. It can also be hard to catch them for the crimes that they commit. Okay, you know, Sagittarius energy is about, you know, movement, traveling and things like that. Um could be kind of hard to pin these people down, right? So even when it comes to um, those acts, these people can commit a crime, do something, and um, you know how you're looking for the person. You don't know where they are. You don't know where they're at. You don't know where they went. These are these people. This is what it's indicating. Okay, number four, Taurus. So their love for money, luxury, and expensive items, such as antiques, and also possessions is so much that they can commit the biggest of frauds. These people can kill over these things. So yes, they can kill over um, their possessions, their money, um, somebody trying to take their money, somebody not being truthful, not being honest, trying to con artists them. Okay, these people can do these things. Okay, they could go to war over um, luxury items. Number five, Capricorn. Okay, so now Capricorn, this is going to indicate that most serial killers, and I don't know if anybody knows this, but most serial killers and psychopaths are Capricorns. They are known as masters of self-control, but are far from that inside their own minds. Okay, so people can look at them Okay, and, and we know that they are about, you know, mastering self-control and um, being militant. Okay, structure, order. You see what I'm saying? But in their minds, they are still trying to find this out, even though they act out these things. See what I'm saying? But yeah, a lot of serial killers have this. Okay, so I'm going to leave this note on this note for now. I am going to come back up here with um, a part two, because I do have a part two right here. Um... And we're going to jump into that. Anybody need a reading, hit me up. Anybody want to purchase um, a shirt or anything like that, hit me up. Let me know. I do have um, shirts. I actually have one of the shirts on right now. Okay. If you can see this. All right. And I'm moving this all around today. And I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but definitely, anybody need that, let me know. We also have custom earrings along with custom shades. I do have those on. Custom earrings. I do have those on. RIP to Diddy Bop. You already know what it is. My brother. Okay. So, yeah, definitely. I, we do custom things. If you need it, just hit me up and let me know. My number is 516-738-6042. 
I will have all the information in the description below, so you can just hit me up. All right, so this is a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all, and I will see you on the next one.